Born in the motherland. This my boy. This is him right here. <laughs> these Ghana streets all right so we are out here in Accra the capital of Ghana in West Africa five long days of wedding ceremony for my friend Nana thank you for the invite Nana if you watch this I very much appreciate you making me a part of it and it was an experience I won't soon forget that's for sure come here boy come here boy no? Okay. So when I first came out here, right, I went shopping at this palace mall. And it was cool, it was a nice and modern grocery store and everything. But I looked into it, and I looked at who the owners were, and I think it was um, the Syrians. So some Syrians came down, um, they put some, some foreign investment, opened this place, gave Ghana a nice modern supermarket in this area of East Airport in Accra. But I said to myself, why am I supporting a foreign business when my policy, especially back home, is always to support local business? So I decided that for the rest of the trip, I was going to support local business in Ghana, in this Accra region. There's plenty of little stores around my neighborhoods that sell pretty much everything I need. So why don't I just support those? And that's what I did. So in this video, you're going to see what a normal shopping day looks like in Accra, Ghana. All right, let's go buy some stuff. So one thing I did not realize about Accra until I got here was that there are many roads in the city that are not paved at all, including this one. So you're going to hear a lot of gravel crunching beneath my feet. Although this road is still in pretty good shape, it's one of the better roads in the city, I would say. But um, it's not paved, but there are many, many roads in much worse condition than this. There are also many open sewers on the side of the roads here. Now these are something that would normally be covered by sidewalks in other countries. But here they're just open. Um, and a friend of mine was saying that they call these foreigner traps because people from other countries often fall in. But I made a promise to myself the first time I saw someone urinating in there, <laughs> right in the middle of the street, uh, I promised myself it would not happen to me. So, yeah. <laughs> So we are approaching my destination here, a little complex, not sure if it has a name or anything, but there's a bar in there, there's a little, a couple little uh, grocery stores, and my first stop is this barber shop. I'm coming to get a haircut. Now the doorman at the place where I'm staying, Foster, a good friend of mine, he recommended this place, and I mean they did a pretty good job. But uh, when I walked in, uh, the barber here was taking a little nap. I felt bad about waking him up, but I'm sure he wanted to make a few dollars, so it was okay. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright, now that I'm looking fresh, it's time to get some food. So let's go next door here. Just one problem doesn't look like anyone's actually working right now. You're working in there or what? Okay. You know where they are? Oh, hello. How you doing? Can I get a pack of this please? The papa sauce? Yeah. This one? Yeah, the shito. Just one. We have 15 and 25 today. 25. Shit, though. 
Has he got any rice in there? Yeah. You got any rice? Right. I don't get it. How much is that? 40 to 50 verses. Yeah, I only got one. I ate way too much shit to on this trip. Way too much. My stomach made me pay for it. Trust me. After picking up those two items, I noticed this lady had set up across the street and was selling watermelon. So, you know I had to go get some of this because in Bermuda, watermelon is kind of a controversial item. We don't got fruit like this back where yeah, I'm from. Yeah, no yeah. fruit. <laughs> How much is it? Three, two. Okay. Three. Now I call watermelon a controversial fruit in Bermuda because everyone wants it, especially in the summertime, but it's mad expensive and the quality is never any good. A cut of watermelon like this would probably cost you about ten to fifteen dollars in Bermuda, at least. Oh, that's some skill. <laughs> you know how much this costs? Four seti, which is about fifty cents. Thank you. I don't need any cheese. Okay. Thank you. Now I'm on my way back to my spot and I came across oh, this God. place here. Uh, this lady was selling a bunch of fruits and nuts, Hello. but her specialty seemed to be mangoes. Right. So I asked for one and she picked it out. She got it all prepared and peeled and everything for me presented it real nice it was real awesome again super fresh no one last stop let's get some bread hello you remember me yes please <laughs> what can i get now um how much for the bread Good morning, thank you. 10 cities okay okay let me get the bread What's that? Butter. Butter bread. Oh, how much? Is that butter? Yeah. Okay, let me get the butter bread. <laughs> wow. You said 10 cities? It's 20. Keep the change. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. That's all, it's My man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, good, good, good. <laughs> See you later. We got mango, some rice, some shito, watermelon, and butter bread. A whole loaf. Mercy. Guess how much this cost. Did you take a guess? Well, let's add them up. So the butter bread was 10 CDs, the watermelon and rice were four each, the shito was 25, and the mango was another five. That makes a grand total of 48 CDs. 
and that today's current exchange rate of about eight to one, if you convert that to US dollars, that's about $5.90. So most of my subscribers are from Bermuda where this would have cost significantly more and have probably not been as good quality either. So I know they're getting a kick out of this. And I hope everybody enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed eating that food. I got one or two more Ghana related videos before we head back to North America. So hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Ooh. Ah.